Hi, my name is Milt Carter uh, with CSS Farms. Uh, we have chip operations in Texas and Nebraska, as well as seed operations in Nebraska and operations in the Pacific Northwest now. So, uh, obviously, with operations in Texas, zebra chip has been a very uh, big part of our life since 2007. Uh, the SCRI program has been very helpful, uh, the first round of it, uh, to help us develop a plan to try to control psyllids and reduce the amount of zebra chip uh, in our chip potatoes. Um, we've had a lot of pressure both last year and, this, uh, and the year before that. Um, we've been fortunate that there wasn't a lot of hot psyllids uh, and we've also been fortunate that the programs we've developed over time with the help of all the research that's done by SCRI um, has given us the tools to control the psyllids. Um, but it was challenging this year because we had a lot of uh, psyllids coming in uh, from uh, the area around us and we were about running out of options by the end of the season. So one of the things that we need is to continue to develop new chemistries uh, to figure out where they fit in terms of an IPM program, the timing of them, which ones should be early, which ones should be late, um, and have enough options so that we can do a good job of resistance management. Otherwise, you know, once you start running out of options, you have to repeat things, and that's not good from a resistance management standpoint. Um, uh, in the long run, what we really need is to develop varieties uh, that are uh, resistant or at least tolerant to zebra chip. And uh, it was interesting in this year's conference to uh, have a, quite a bit of information presented on the screening that's been done and also trying to figure out the different haplotypes, and I assume that the kind of the bottom line of that is to be able to use some marker assisted breeding to find or develop new varieties that would be tolerant or resistant. Um, and then as I said earlier, the other big thing is to, is to continue to evaluate new chemistries, figure out how they fit, and then the other big thing that's really helped us is the uh, uh, survey work that's done uh, on psyllids across the various areas uh, throughout the middle of the U.S. as well as the Pacific Northwest so that we know uh, how many psyllids are coming in from the outside and then also to see how we're doing in terms of control based upon the leaf sample results. So all of that's been very positive. Uh, we've been fortunate to not have any disasters the last couple of years, uh, but we're still spending a tremendous amount of money uh, and effort to control psyllids and zebra chip.